When many have overlooked and some even ignored the opportunity that our native knowledge carries, there are some who have been inspired by the skilled handiwork of our forefathers, taking what was thought to be an outdated traditional skill set and turning it into a creative, modern, and profitable decorating business. Tanzania ranks second in the world for sisal production. FAO indicates that the demand for new products made from sisal have been growing at a very fast rate in the world market over the past decade. So why did these two ladies quit their white collar jobs and start weaving? Are the traditional skills passed on from our parents still relevant today? How can we refix the ever increasing generational gap? You are about to find out. This is Life Happens with Bahati Joyce.